Greetings, I'm Pastor Eric Smith, and this is Wakening Grace. Today we welcome Mrs. Jenny Fries, who is the lay leader of St. Andrews by the Sea. Good morning to my St. Andrews family and to all others who are watching from different parts of the state or around the country or even around the world. Good morning to you all. As I sit here recording my awakening grace for you, the rain is falling outside. I love the rain. Now that we are fully into the fall season and with winter actually just around the corner, the rain is surely welcome. It cleanses the air and makes everything smell so good. I love stepping outside after a rainstorm and taking a deep breath. Wow, that smell. It's good, and you know what I'm talking about. The rain is needed for growth, too. Water is essential. It is life-giving. Nothing can exist without water. This reminds me about a marquee sign outside a church in Eagle Rock where I grew up. I've never forgotten the saying. The sign read, all sunshine makes for a desert. How true is that? Well, most of us would agree that sunshine and a beautiful blue sky makes for a perfect day. We cannot thrive on that alone. No, we absolutely need the rain for growth to occur and for life to continue on. Yes, life continues on, and this is our chance to grow as individuals, as a faith community, as a country. God's grace is upon us. It has always been with us, even through difficult times. Yes, our country is struggling right now, but during our struggles, we must look to God for guidance, knowing that love, patience, and kindness always went out, always. Now is a time for healing to occur. We have an opportunity to come together again, to work together, to solve our problems together, to combat the virus together. This can be done even though there are still differences between us. I say differences are good. They make us richer, but surely we can come together for the good of all. As Paul the Apostle said in 1 Corinthians 1 verse 10, I appeal to you brothers by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that all of you agree and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be united in the same mind and the same judgment. Well, we don't have to agree on everything. That is asking for the impossible, but we cannot let our differences divide us. We can unite to make tomorrow better. Let us come together to solve the problems that affect all of us. We can do this with the grace of God for he is leading us in the right direction. Will you please pray with me? Dear Lord, we give you thanks for the rain that you send us, knowing that it helps our wonderful earth to grow and flourish. Help us to grow and flourish as individuals too, doing what is best for all involved. And as always, Help us to love one another as Jesus loved us. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.